Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. And I tell you, I got another ratchet for you guys. It's a uh, Neat Bruce ratchet, uh, quarter inch drive. Now I got this off of Amazon um, for around $74. Uh, and then it plus I, some kind of tax or something. It ended up being like $79, almost 80 bucks. It's probably the most expensive ratchet that I bought or for a quarter inch drive ratchet that I bought. But um, I wanted to get one because I've been seeing lots of stuff on the, uh, YouTube about them. I just wanted to check one out, and this is the only one that was under $100 because all the other ones are, you know, $100 plus, you know, $200 plus. So I figured I'd, I'd be able to at least get this one and be able to at least check it out. Uh, part number for this is NBR290L. And these are, um, of course, these are made in Japan. Uh, but KTC, I guess that's the name of the com company as well. And it does come in the, uh, the packaging is really nice. I've kind of already opened this up and uh, looked at it. And I've already found something that I don't, uh, already don't like. I've already uh, got a little complaint about it. But these are, uh, this is a 90 tooth ratchet. Um, the chroming on it is, uh, is very nice. It's uh, nice and shiny. Uh, the handle on it, it's got this little uh, indentation down here, but you know, you see your hands, you know, you kind of just grab it up here. So um, it is uh, 7.1 inches, so it's seven inches long. Uh, you know, just check that with the tape measure real quick, uh, just to uh, just to see if it's around seven inches. And actually, it looks like it's a little bit. A little under seven inches right there looks like it's uh like six and seven eighths <laughs> inches long <laughs> so and yeah, that's already a little different right there anyway it is quick release um and now the the larger sizes the uh quick release button actually is recessed inside the uh inside the ratchet but as you can see this one here is uh it's not recessed inside the ratchet it does uh, protrude out of it a little bit and then your uh, reverse switch here uh, it's it's pretty good uh, it's not real 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 easy so it does engage really well when you switch it back and forth um, on here as you can see on the top it says innovative 90 90 gear a knee pros with the 90 on it and this is all uh, etched into it laser etched into it and then down here on the handle, you do have the uh, the part number with the KTC Japan on there, 1C, with the knee purse. And it's all, like I said, it's laser etched in there. Now, the only problem I, uh, I had with this was, as you can see here, these, uh, these hex screws are the uh, Phillips screws that came in it. They were, that's how they came. And I was like, how am I going to get this thing open? The, uh. So I tried a bunch of different bits and I actually had to take a, a straight bit, um, a 1.5 and I take it and tap it with a hammer to get it to, uh, you know, because the threads are, I mean, because the top of the screws are so messed up, I actually got them to come loose so I can open it up now. But uh, they came out of the box like this with the uh, Phillips heads, like somebody had torqued them down too tight and, and cammed them out. They were all stripped out. And I, like I said, I was trying all my different uh, Phillips bits, the 001, the one, you know, all these different ones, and none of them would, uh, they were all just camming out. Every single one of them, I actually said, I actually had to take a straight, uh, a straight uh, Phillips, or not a Phillips, a flathead, small flathead, and just like tap it down in there and just try and straighten it where it was cammed out at and actually got them to come out. So... I'm not real happy with that. They should have used uh, Torx fasteners in this uh, in this head too, or something, because uh, them, like I said, they shouldn't have, they shouldn't have sent that out, shipped it out like that with the uh, bolts stripped out like that, because these are supposed to be uh, just be able to get in here and service these heads if you ever uh, you know get junk in there, clean them out or anything. So, uh, like I said, that was the only uh, thing that I've seen so far that I didn't like. But uh, other than that. We go ahead and I'm gonna pop this inside apart and uh, show you guys the inside. So I may send them a, a picture of the screws and see if they'll send me out some new screws because whoever put 
whoever put this together uh, over tightened them and like demolished the uh, demolished the screws in it. So I noticed when I took these off, I uh, did not see any uh, Loctite, which is a uh, which is a good thing because these things had Loctite on them. I might have not been able to get them out because they were so. Like I said, the screws were so far stripped out, but as you can see, there's no, uh, it didn't come with any Loctite, so I'm going to put them off to the side. But if they if they won't send me screws, I'll just have to see if I can, I'll just figure out which what the thread count is and go online and see if I can uh, find some myself. Um, so here's the uh, plate here. It looks like it's about an eighth of an inch thick or whatnot. Um, it does come with light oil on it. On the inside so it does come oiled and here's the inside of your ratchet here guys if you guys can see that I'm trying to let it without the glare get good focus there we go so there's our ratchet it does have a uh, single paw floating paw inside of it and there is your uh, 90 tooth gear as well and it's got a nice uh, chrome button on the side as well. So that's that. Let me uh, see if I can get my tweezers out and we can uh, pull some of this apart. I'll show, you, I'll show you the rest of this, the inside of this. So here's the uh, paw. Uh, here's your paw. And... Uh, it's pretty basic design. Uh, there's no markings on it or anything like that on this paw. Uh, both sides of the paw are the same, so when you go to put it uh, put it back together, you're not going to uh, have any uh, issues with putting it back together. And it looks like there's to be about six or seven teeth of engagement um, per side when you uh, when you do put it back together. Um, and it does have one detent in the. Uh, there you go, one detent inside the head here. And this piece here is solid. This is a solid piece. I know usually when you get these uh, detents, this piece here is usually hollow and the spring sits in it. So the spring is not actually in this. The spring is actually, looks like it's down inside the, uh, the switch here of the arm. So the switch isn't, the spring's down inside this here. And they actually did use a Torx bit for the other side to uh, hold the uh, switch to the pole. So we're going to go and uh, figure out what size this is. Let's try the uh, T5. And it is a T5. So it's T5, uh, T5 for the uh, reverse or the reversing switch and then Phillips screws <laughs> for the for the plate that were for, that were stripped out and uh, here is the switch uh, the, the uh, bolt the Torx bit for the bolt and I can't really tell it may have some kind of really light Loctite on there I'm not real sure so here is your there's that and then here is your reversing switch and it looks like it's a piece of cast aluminum maybe something it's ca it's cast and it's also got some um uh, painted on the outside it's coated with a black paint on the outside and then here is your uh, switch here and I'm gonna see if I can push this out and that you got to be careful when you're pushing it out because there is a uh, detent that's down inside the body of the ratchet and as you can see here here is the uh, spring for the detent for the uh, reversing switch if we get it to focus down inside there, it's hard to see, but there is a uh, spring down inside there. And that's for the uh, detent for the reversing lever. And then it does have the one ball bearing and then your spring. Here's your spring. Your spring that's down inside there. So there's your spring and your ball right there. And then here's the inside of your head. Um, uh, it looks like it was oil, but this this could also be like a really it could be a fine grease type of combination here, because it doesn't look like it's just uh, oil. It could be a 
a, th a thicker oil or like I said even a maybe a grease but uh like I said the uh, holes the machine marks they all look pretty uh pretty pretty decent not too bad the chroming on the inside looks pretty good the lip uh, looks pretty uh even all the way around I'm trying to look and see if I see any kind of uh kind of defects or anything like that you do have a nice little uh spot down there for the uh, reverse switch to sit into but there are no um i noticed that there are no o-rings or anything like that to keep debris out or even keep oil out so if you do use a light oil it it probably is going to leak out so maybe if you use like some kind of a, a like grease and an oil combination or a, a, a super thin grease it might be okay but uh i wouldn't use anything too thick in here because then you'll have uh You'll have that paw sticking to the ratchet, and then it's not going to work, and it's going to be a pain in the butt. But, uh, yeah, to reassemble this, um, you're just going to have to uh, go in reverse what we just did. You put your spring in, put your ball in. Also, I noticed uh, sitting here on the uh, reversing switch, wait for it to focus, This there is a machine shoulder down inside here, so this reversing switch does sit down inside this uh this shoulder in here but you're gonna have to uh i'm gonna put this thing together offline because um it's uh it's like i said it's quarter inch drive it's pretty small and it's probably gonna take it's gonna take me a while to get the ball back in there and i'm gonna have to hold the uh, ball detent back down in there and uh try and uh try and squeeze this squeeze this piece down but I will, so let's just give it a try. If, if I have any issues with it, I'm just going to uh, put it together offline because I don't, <laughs> don't want to bore you guys with putting it back together. Like I said, you just you just watched a video of me taking it apart. You can go back and watch it. If you have any questions where anything goes, uh, just you can uh, go backwards in it and... Uh, all right, so I just put a little bit of grease on that ball to help hold that. Uh, try to see if I can get that ball back on there. And get the ball back on the spring. Okay, and then when you put this, like I said, when you put this back in, there is a shoulder here that the uh, the reversing switch has to sit in. So make sure that's facing to the outside of it, so you can go back into its uh, place. Oh, that just came out on me. And that's what I was afraid of. Um, now, I, <laughs> the video I did, uh, the video I did the other day when I was talking about looking for uh, my magnetizer, I looked everywhere for my magnetizer, and I can't, uh, I can't find it anywhere. So I don't know what happened to it. Uh, one of my kids probably. <laughs> Took it and played with it or whatnot. I have to go through all. I got to go through all my drawers and stuff and see if I can find what happened to my. Uh, what happened to my magnetizer? Yeah, it's gonna be. All right. Well, I'm gonna put this back together online because this ball. I'm gonna have to hold the ball down in there, and be able to uh, slide this uh, switch down inside there, but. Yeah, guys, like I said, the only thing I uh, really don't like, I didn't like the, uh, they had Phillips screws in there. I wish it would have had some kind of Torx type of screw in there. I wish they just didn't, maybe this didn't tighten it down so much where it cammed out the screws. And maybe just use a, uh, a super low grade Loctite, like the pink Loctite or something. And maybe, I don't know, some kind of uh, you know, seals or something inside to uh, keep the dirt debris out, whatever. But it felt really good, felt really smooth. Uh, the uh, did not get a chance to try the detent, so we can go ahead and try the detent real quick. And uh, detent feels pretty strong as far as that goes, but uh, yeah, when I get uh, some more uh, some more time, we'll do another video. I wanted to do the uh, like a back drag uh, test, but I was looking at those online too, and uh. I found one, but I don't really want to spend all that spend all that money right now because 
my channel is kind of small, not really making it. I think some of the uh, people were making comments on there about, you know, they want me to do like Project Farm does and this and that and the other. Well, he, he's got a million subscribers, so he can, uh, he's making money off of his videos. All the stuff on my videos, I have to pay out of pocket, you know. It costs money to uh, buy these tools, so I can't just, you know, just spend random money just to do videos of, you know, comparing different products to different products. My, most of my videos are just uh, overviews of the uh you know first impressions of it uh but you know eventually i may be able to work towards doing something like that but anyway guys i just wanted to thank you for uh watching my video guys i just pray everyone has a great night blessed night and just uh thank you guys for checking out my video